ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by season six is officially here in call of duty warzone and black ops cold war it is the final season of the cold war uh era you could say in warzone of course by this time next month vanguard is going to be released we're going to be approaching vanguard season one and a whole new seasonal update for warzone at that point but for now we do have one final season to go and today we're going over all the new changes and all the patch notes with the season six update there's quite a bit to cover so as we go through it all if you guys enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated goal for this one is going to be 3,000 likes and of course if you're new to the channel or if you happen to be a part of the 55 percent of viewers who have not already subscribed this is the place to be for everything going on in cod news updates loadouts tips it is all right here every single day so feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on also gamer advantage did just restock the horizon frames you guys see me wearing these in every single video they are limited they are going to sell out if you guys want to cop a pair of these for yourself they offer prescription and regular lenses they're by far my favorite pair of glasses on the site and code immortal gets you a nice little discount at checkout all right so we've got the patch notes uh it's starting here on twitter for whatever reason raven puts them out on twitter first and then they update the site like a few minutes later so i'm sure we'll jump to the site for the full patch notes here in just a bit but starting off with what they posted initially we actually get our playlist previews for pretty much the entire month but coming up this first week uh, on october 7th actually uh so starting when the update goes live we're gonna have regular solos duos trios and quads we're gonna have plunder quads we're gonna have payload at port uh for rebirth island we have resurgence duos and quads and for the weekend exclusive we actually have iron trials quads so it seems like we're gonna have multiple different weekend exclusive modes iron trial trios iron trial solos i like that they're messing around at that personally i think trios is gonna be the sweet spot but for this upcoming weekend we are gonna have iron trial quads available there uh the weekend exclusive modes will replace their core battle royale squad size equivalent from each friday 10 a.m pacific time until monday at 10 a.m pacific time so for instance this weekend there won't be normal quads it'll only be iron trial quads now we also have the haunting event coming up later on in the season on the 19th return to the call of duty blog on the 18th for more intel about the haunting event so when the time comes we'll be covering that make sure you stay tuned for that they also detail the return of scopes and scatter guns on reber specifically so this is going to be snipers and shotguns only on rebirth it's a mode that we really haven't seen in quite some time they say it's going to be coming back here in a later playlist update obviously this mode builds upon a map and rule set combination that we already know rebirth resurgence the loot is only going to be shotguns snipers and crossbows so you got to be very accurate no free loadout drops and no pur purchasable loadout drops are going to be available it's just going to be the ground loot weapons and the chest loot weapons and the new starting weapon isn't a shotgun so players are going to spawn with the marshal instead which is not very good so it'll be a fun mode to mess around with uh you know definitely a very different change on the gameplay compared to normal br especially on rebirth even so that'll be pretty fun to mess around with now as mentioned the whole site update just went live with the full patch notes here so if you're just looking at the twitter stuff you won't get all the information there uh but of course the playlist update that we just talked about obviously it's a new season we're getting the new battle pass as well the haunting event as mentioned scopes and scatter guns uh which we just covered obviously for the map updates it seems like their images aren't quite loading yet but we got the new points of interest the fissures explosive charges have triggered a devastating seismic event in verdansk forming massive cracks right through the stadium in downtown as we know downtown is partially destroyed uh stadium is partially destroyed and there's different fissures all across that area of the map we also have these new world war ii era bunkers available as well which is pretty interesting these will be uh in three different locations across the map and you can go go in and get some loot apparently there's some easter eggs with that as well which is kind of interesting so we're gonna have to go ahead and solve those and of course we have the og gulag returning as well the showers that we first had when warzone was uh, actually initially launching so we get the return of the og gulag there now as far as gameplay updates go uh we have obviously new ground loot there's new gulag loadouts new ground loot and supply box loot and the iron hide in the grav dlc weapons have been added to that loot pool there uh the plunder respawn behavior has been updated to provide players with more dynamic infiltrations and the rcxd killstreak has been removed entirely until further notice We've got plenty of bug fixes to go over here they fixed the ui issue causing the temper perk to display incorrectly during plunder issue causing the c58 ejection port to not open additional collision issues with various elements across for dance so different exploit areas like uh, for instance at the airport so that's now fixed uh, an issue causing a conflict between audio of red doors and supply boxes an issue causing operator bios to uh you know not do the correct set as favorite option basically an issue causing seasonal challenges to remain grayed out while scrolling through the menu an issue with the crig that would cause noticeable camera tilt when firing an issue with the pellington reticle uh, an issue with the qbz uh, and hitch firing an issue that caused i think this is the m82 default reticle to appear misaligned an issue causing the tech 9 hip fire reticle to not match uh, an issue causing the unintended bullet collision on a rear end of the payload cargo trucks an issue with the firing audio on the turbo powered bullfrogs that's like when your gun audio would appear from multiple different players when you were using that blueprint uh several issues with reload 
load animations, uh, an issue that would result in players experiencing dev error 5476 or 5573, and also various issues with Stitch's subtitles while near red doors. Uh, the regiments, this is a pretty big update for those. Those are now frozen, and that's basically because of the whole update to the clan system and to the regiment system that's coming with Vanguard. So as of right now, you can't join or leave a new regiment. You can't invite players to your regiment right now. That is paused for the time being. They also say the style of loot cards has been updated. In addition to this change, we've added information about the fire type of weapon to each loot card so you can see which Tech 9 you're picking up off the ground, if it's semi-auto or fully auto or whatever. Uh, this will allow players to observe if a weapon is automatic, semi-auto, or burst before committing to it, so that's a pretty cool update there. Uh, the kill feed, the time on screen. Added an option under the accessibility menu to customize the amount of time the messages in the kill feed stay on screen. This option is intended to support hard of vision, hard of hearing, or cognitive overload accessibility, which is pretty cool, and there's different options for that. There's also uh, mono audio, which is now available as well. Now for weapons, obviously we have the new Ironhide Shotgun as a part of the Battle Pass, same deal with the Grav. The Battle uh, Axe Melee is a part of a new challenge that we can get. Then in season, we're gonna get the Lapa SMG, then also the Hammer and the Sickle. And there's new unlocks for the EM2 and the Tech 9 for the EM2 using rifles. Rapidly kill two or more players in 15 different completed matches, that's super easy. And for the Tech 9, using SMGs, get two headshot kills in 15 different matches, also pretty easy in my opinion. Uh, for weapon changes, the weapon tuning, the big focus of this update. We are pleased with the level of weapon variety we're seeing across for Dansk. However, we feel there are still some persistent outliers that could be uh, addressed here and there. Outlined below are a few deceptively impactful changes to assist in further widening the pool of weapons. Unfortunately, the uh, the image of guns that were balanced this patch is not loading, but the C-58 had its recoil increased. The EM-2 had its recoil increased. For LMGs, the MG82, the King TTK, had its gun kick increased, its recoil increased, which were already very, very not uh, ideal, you could say. They weren't super obnoxious or that difficult, but they were more noticeable than with other weapons, so that's going to deter players from using that more. The reload interrupt time has been increased, and the raise uh, interrupt time has also increased, so it's going to be slower in general. And then for the stoner here, the gun kick and the recoil was also increased, so... Those are going to be slightly harder to use. I don't think the MG82 will be that favored anymore, uh, depending on how exactly that recoil has changed once the, once the update actually goes live. But uh, I think more than anything, this update now pushes the fact that the AK-47 is going to be the best gun in the game from Cold War. It has been. I've been saying this for a little while now. Without a doubt in my mind, it's currently the best. <laughs> Image of new shotgun called 410 Ironhide. I like the description of the images they got on the post that don't load in. Uh, we obviously have some attachment changes here as well for lasers. On the Tiger Team Spotlight, the movement speed multiplier was decreased by 0.2% and the ADS movement speed multiplier was decreased by 0.2% as well. So you're going to be slightly slower with that. Kind of a bummer because I'm all about the speed, uh, you know, ka-chow up in here. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then for magazines on the OTS, the 40-round mag, the multiplier uh, for ADS rather, uh, was decreased a little bit. The reload time was also decreased and the reload empty time was also decreased. And then on the fast mag, the ADS speed multiplier was decreased a tad bit by 0.2 or 0.02 rather. Uh, the reload time was decreased and the reload empty time was also decreased so both of those are not going to be as ideal anymore i'm still going to be running the fast mag though just because it's worth it over just the normal magazines uh for operators obviously we've got alex mason coming we have fuse coming in season mason's a uh, you know a part of the battle pass so he's the main seasonal operator and kingsley is available through the whole uh vanguard pre-order bonus as well if you want him in warzone or cold war we also have the normal prestige updates with new icons there then also new stuff in the uh like actual prestige shop for the store, we've got some new bundles coming. The Berserker bundle, uh, the Fuse Operator bundle, obviously a Tracer pack, Zombie Zapper, Mastercraft, then also the Tagger versus Big Joke Ultimate pack. These are previewed in the whole Battle Pass like uh, blog from the other day if you haven't caught that yet. Uh, but nothing too crazy there as far as the store stuff goes. Pretty basic stuff there. And then finally, to close things out for the actual update information, it's approximately 31 gigs uh, on PlayStation 5. On PlayStation 4, it's 30.6. On Xbox, it is 30.1. On PC, if you're Warzone only, it's 39.3, and if you own Warzone and Modern Warfare, it's 40.5. Uh, you're going to need 10 gigs of space for the whole copying process. Uh, the Cold War download is not necessary. And for an overall file size, you can obviously go ahead and modify your install and uninstall the campaign or spec ops or whatever the case may be. But yeah, that is the whole entirety of the Season 6 update as of right now. It should be an interesting couple of weeks, obviously, with the whole haunting event coming. We've got, obviously, all the new content right away with the battle pass, the map changes, weapon tuning. So overall, pretty solid update in my opinion. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, feel free to do so. That way you can always stay up to date with absolutely everything going on in COD. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.